As May quickly approaches, school districts around the state are figuring out how to best honor the class of 2020. All ceremony plans must be approved first by the State Department of Education. THB 11's Mercedes McKay spoke with the Lone Oak School District about their approved plan and how it will honor the school's legacy. Superintendent John Tackett gave his board three different options. Postpone graduation, hold it virtually, or have a drive through They decided on the third option to give the class of 2020 a one-of-a-kind experience they'll never forget. It's not traditional, but we feel like this is so unique. Uh, this class will capture something uh, that's never been done before. Capturing moments you can't repeat. Like this one here with senior Matthew Sumner and his mom. As a parent, you never expected graduation to end up like this. While they look down at one of the many bricks that make up the alumni walk on Lone Oak High School's campus. A brick with his mom's name carved in it from 1989. I think it's awesome that we're going to be able to walk through it and end our school year like a lot of our parents did. These historical arches built from the original high school's building will now be where Matthew and his classmates receive their diplomas. It's really special to me that he gets to graduate and walk through the same arches that I did. The Sumner's taking the same path out, but not necessarily the same one in. Let's have an opportunity for kids to actually line up in their cars and one car at a time, the graduate with no more than three others, get out of the car with a driver in the car dropping them off. Everyone who gets out of the car with the graduate will have their temperatures taken and answer a series of questions before walking through the arches and capping off years of hard work. We're so proud of these graduates. You've done an excellent job. We will always remember you. We just ask you to remember us.